God is about to show you off, chosen ones. I'm talking about like never before. And everybody that doubted you, they're going to be feeling so foolish. I need all my chosen ones to please stay tuned to the very end of this video. Shout out to the WTC gang. For we still chosen if they ask you. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. A lot of people been overlooking you for so many years. A lot of people, amen, they've been doubting you, underestimating you, counting you out for years at a time. But God said, guess what? That season is officially over because you're getting ready to enter into your new season of divine acceleration. This right now is your season, your winning season. This is your season to shine. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say overlooking season is over with. This is now my season to shine. This is my winning season right now. This is my season, amen, to, to give what God has for me. Let me tell you something, children. A lot of people, amen, guess what? It's not that they didn't want the best for you. They just didn't believe that you can actually do it. And when I'm going to tell you, man, the minute you walk down that aisle, God said, you better recite, yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I shall fear no evil because God was with me. His rod and his staff, it comforted me, it protected me. Let me tell you something, Chosen ones. There was a lot of things, amen, that was meant to destroy you. A lot of people, amen, that was meant to destroy you. It was a lot of things that was meant to take you up out of here. But let me tell you something. If it had not been for God's grace and his mercy, if it had not been, amen, for the isolation which saved your life, understand what I'm saying? You can't forget where you come from, Chosen ones. You can't forget you once was lost. But I mean, tell you, all, everybody, they gave up on you. When you was going through the struggle, everybody doubted you. When you're going through them hard times, everybody, guess what? They turn the cheek on you. But let me tell you something, God counted you in. God said, I'm getting ready to show off my product. I'm getting ready to show off my vessel. I'm getting ready to show you guys what I've created. I'm getting ready to show you guys, amen, what I molded, what I shaped it into the man and woman of God. I'm getting ready to show you off. But it's going to be for God's glory. It's going to be to draw souls unto the Lord. It's not for selfish gain. It's not for us, children. It's not about us. It's about Jesus. Because he the one that saved us. He the one that rescued us. He the one that planted our feet on higher ground. He the one that prepared a table in the presence of our enemies. He the one that fed us when we were hungry. He the one that gave us water when we was thirsty. And God said, guess what? No, no more going overlooked. No more being overlooked. You're going from being overlooked to overly booked in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you what's going on, chosen ones. But I mean to tell you, jaws will be dropping. But I mean to tell you, the minute you walk into the room, the walls will be falling. That's how powerful your presence will be. But I mean to tell you, when you walk down an aisle to, to receive with this reward, God said you better walk in that room like I sent you. When you walk down that aisle to receive this plaque, God said you better walk in there like I sent you. A lot of people going to be pointing fingers. A lot of people going to be talking to each other, amongst each other, saying, man, how could this be? A lot of people going to be looking at you. And they're not even going to recognize who you are because of the favor of the anointing and the oil that is over your life. Let me tell you something, children. People been overlooking you since you were a child. This is why your evil family members ain't never supported you when you was a child. This is why your so-called friends, they always doubted you and underestimated you ever since you guys grew up together in the same neighborhood because they knew that you were somebody special. They knew you were destined for greatness, man. I'm telling you what's going on. Don't forget, man, you were supposed to be the scapegoat, baby. Don't forget, hey, amen, you were supposed to be the one they sacrificed. But let me tell you something, man. You cannot sacrifice somebody who's an earth angel. You can't sacrifice somebody who's sent by God. You can't sacrifice somebody, amen, who chose, who, who was chosen to do God's will. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. You didn't ask for this. You was chose for this. A lot of people going to be feeling so foolish. A lot of people going to be looking like long lost, lost puppies. They can be looking like long lost Yorkies out here. They can be looking like a sad, a sad puppy when they see you walking out of the aisle, receiving your glory, receiving your honor, receiving what's due to you, getting all this praise. But I'm going to tell you, God is getting ready to show up and show out for you. But I'm going to tell you, you're getting ready to sign a big contract in front of the people, amen, who thought you was going to be struggling for the rest of your life. But I'm going to tell you, you're getting ready to show people how good God has been to you. Let me tell you something. There's a real reason why you was away. There's a real reason why God isolated you, man. 
Because there was a lot of people, amen, that were sent into your life to destroy you. There was a lot of people that was pulling you down, doubting you, telling you that you wasn't going to be the next big thing, telling you that you wasn't going to make it, telling you that you was nothing but a failure. God said, I got to remove these crazy people from your life. God said, I'm getting ready to change your name. You remind me of Jacob, chosen ones. Don't you forget that God changed Jacob's name into Israel. He said, your name will no longer be Jacob. After the fact they got to finish wrestling, Jacob was wrestling with God. Because guess what? Jacob was, he was expecting these blessings to be a little bit sooner than what God had expected to give it to him. Let me tell you what's going on. Jacob was wrestling with God. And you never want to wrestle with God. You never want to question God. And you wonder why you was anointed and you were still struggling. Let me tell you something. Because number one, guess what? You never ever want to wrestle with God. Because guess what? God is the author and the finisher of your faith. God is, one, is the one that's getting ready to allow these blessings to be activated over your life. God is the one, amen, who's getting ready to plant your feet on higher ground. You never want to wrestle with God because he may not be there when you want him, but I promise you he's going to be there on time. So when you was in the pit, guess what? You was wrestling with God. God was telling you, don't worry about it. I got a plan for you. Don't worry about it. I know they laughing at you. I know they prayed on your downfall, but God said, don't worry about it. I'm planning your uprising. But guess what? You continue to question God. You was crying out to God. You couldn't understand what you was going through when you was going through the pit. But I, I bet you now you in the palace, you understand it better by and by. Let me tell you something. So after God was finishing wrestling with Jacob, let me tell you something. Jacob was at one of his worst moments in life. And that allowed him to be patient. That allowed him to call unto God. That allowed him to see God face. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. Sometimes God will wait till you get to the bottom of the barrel. He will wait till you at your worst moment in life. So he can show you who he really is. Let me tell you something. But I'm going to tell you, God told Jacob, your name ain't no longer going to be Jacob. I'm changing your name from Jacob to Israel. And Israel means father of many nations. God said, I'm changing your name to the chosen one. Understand what I'm saying? And a lot of people was calling you all kind of names. They was lying on your name. They were saying all evils and manners against your name. They was throwing spells against your name. They was throwing witchcraft on your name because guess what? Your name got a meaning. Your name has a meaning, believe it or not. Understand what I'm saying? And I'm here to tell you, God said, guess what? You no longer going to have the same name. I'm going to give you a new name. God said, since you've been faithful over a few things, since you was praying for people that doubted you, praying for people that despitefully use you, I'm getting ready to make you rule over many nations, baby. So you best to believe, guess what? This is your time. This is your season. In the year 2024, every door that was slammed in your face is getting ready to be reopened. Understand what I'm saying? Everything that you are manifesting, guess what? Is getting ready to be manifested in the name of Jesus. Everything that you've been praying to God for, God is getting ready to answer every prayer you've been that's been sent up to heaven. Everything that you've been sowing, guess what? You're getting ready to reap. Everything that you've been putting, amen, and, and, and into the field, and everything that you've been growing, God said, guess what? You're getting ready to reap what you have sowed into the ground. You're getting ready to reap the harvest, God promised you. Getting, you're getting ready to take back everything that the devil stole from you. God is getting ready to give you back everything that the devil stole from you with interest. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of people, amen, guess what? They doubted you for a reason, man. They counted you out for a reason because you got the anointing. They gave up on you because guess what? You got that power on the inside of you to make it to the next level. And you got to realize one thing and one thing only, chosen ones. Never forget where you come from. Because we once was lost, but guess what? Now we found, baby. We once was blind, but now we see, man. And the minute you walk down that aisle to receive your reward, the minute you walk down that aisle to receive that reward of honor, that reward of dignity, that reward, amen, of faithfulness, that reward of obedience, I promise you, people are going to be looking foolish. They're going to be feeling foolish. They're going to be looking salty. But I'm going to tell you, people are going to be out of their minds. I'm telling you, man, people are going to be falling out because guess what? They did not expect you to make it, man. I'm talking about they're going to be having this foolish look on their face like. When I'm going to tell you, they're going to be pointing fingers. When I'm going to tell you, their hands going to be over their mouth. Because look where God has brought you from. Let me tell you something. God had to isolate you so you can retire with the crown. You getting ready to walk down that aisle to receive your crown. 
You getting ready to walk down that aisle to receive, amen, your victory. You getting ready to walk down that aisle to receive all these blessings that God had in store for you. Let me tell you something. He may not be there when you want him, but I promise you he going to be there on time. For every job that fired you. For every church that tried to sweep your anointed up under the rug. Other times I'm saying for every family member that never supported you since you were a child. They getting ready to witness the favor of God that is over your life. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, look at me now. I'm successful. Look at me now. I'm shining. Look at me now. I'm shining bright like a diamond. You thought I was going to be finished. You thought I was going to be through. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, you thought, amen, that I was going to fail. But let me tell you something. God's plans will prevail over my life. God's plans will prevail over your life. And I declare and dec decree victories in the name of Jesus over your life. I declare and I decree, amen, uh, 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 salvation. I declare and I decree blessings on top of blessings over your life. I declare and I decree prosperity and abundance over your life in the name of Jesus. Jesus for the rest of your life. So you got to realize, chosen ones, people going to be looking lost. They're going to be looking crazy. Some people ain't just ain't going to believe because guess what? You don't even look like what you've been through. The minute you walk down that aisle, they ain't even going to recognize who you are. That's the kind of God that you serve. I'm talking about God would allow you to go through those storms. God would allow you to go through that fire. God would allow you to go through the rain. He allow you to go through the heartaches and pain. And he allowed you to go through all that for you to come out not looking like what you've been through. My God, it would look like that. It ain't never happened to you because guess what? You belong to God, baby. You are protected. Amen. By his angels. You are protected by the blood of the lamb. And why everybody doubted you, God counted you in. Why everybody seen the worst in you, God seen the best in you. I understand what I'm saying? Why everybody gave up on you, God came and rescued you. Let me tell you something, man. God loves you. God knows that you're anointed. God knows you're gifted. God knows you're talented. But God, guess what? He want to see if you're going to really go through it in order for you to get to it. And you went through it. So now guess what? Let's get to it, baby. I need you to buckle up, chosen, because prepare to be ready for the ride of your life. You're getting ready for a ride to be glorified. Don't you be afraid to put in coming below and say, I'm buckling up. I'm ready. I'm ready to enjoy the ride to be glorified. This is your season to be glorified. This is your season to be uplifted to the upper room. This is your season to get everything that people thought that you weren't able to obtain. Because let me tell you something. The blessings of the Lord is real. The blessings of the Lord is falling all over your life right now. The blessings of the Lord, amen, is coming to your doorstep and and it only got your name on it, baby. Let me tell you something. When I'm going to tell you your divine blessings are activated right now. When I'm going to tell you that your divine aura is activated. When you walk down and out, I promise you people are going to be all up in their feelings, man. But I'm going to tell you, man, people ain't going to have no choice but to respect you. When I'm going to tell you, even your own haters and your enemies ain't going to have no choice but to stand up and congratulate you. Because guess what? Look where God really brought you from. You got to realize that you are walking testimony. You are walking miracle. I don't care who doubted you. I don't care who gave you. I don't. I mean, who 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 who, who didn't for, uh, forgive you? I don't care who rejected you. I don't care who have forsaken you. Guess what? You still gonna make it, baby. You got to realize, man, if God is for you, can nobody be against you? If God is for you, weapons may form, but they will not prosper. If God is for you, I promise you, man, you, guess what? Can nobody and nothing on this earth defeat you? You a winner. You a survivor. You the chosen one. You the game changer and you are the X factor, baby. You make the difference in everybody's lives. You are the inspiration, amen, in everybody's lives. You motivate people to be the best version of themselves. So God said, it's my time to honor you. It's my time to show you all this is your day. This is your year. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, this is my day today. This is my year. I will win. I will not give up. I will succeed. I will achieve. I will continue to give God glory because guess what? He saw the best in you. When everybody else around you doubted you, when everybody else around you gave up on you, your own family wouldn't even come to support you when you at your highest moment. But I promise you, man, when you're going through the struggles of life, I promise you when God take you up out of here, they want to fly and travel thousands and thousands of miles to see you buried alive. Instead of giving your roses while you can still smell them, they want to bring you roses when you're dead and gone. The devil is a liar. God just told me to tell you that people are getting ready to bring you your flowers while you can still smell them. Prepare yourself this year. 
I'm talking about people going to be bringing you roses. I'm talking to the kings and the queens. Ladies ain't the only one that's going to be able to receive them roses. Kings getting ready. God getting ready to allow some people, some haters, some enemies, enemies to bring you roses. Because guess what? You just that special, my brothers. You just that powerful. You just that supernatural, baby. You got it in you, baby. You've been a blessing to so many people, and guess what? They still doubted you. You've been a blessing to so many people. You done loved so many people. You done gave all your energy to so, to so many people, and they still doubted you. God said, enough is enough. God said, I'm getting ready to show you off like never before. God said, everything that you touch is getting ready to turn into gold. Every door you walk in, every feet, everywhere your feet plant, you're going to have favor. Every room that you walk in, you're going to have favor. I understand what I'm saying? Every aisle that you walk down, guess what? You're going to have favor. Because you belong to me. So let me tell you something, Charles was. I know a lot of people doubted you. I know a lot of people gave up on you. I know it hurts. I know a lot of people forsaken you. I know that shit hurts. But let me tell you something. Don't you never let these people doubting you stop your purpose. Don't you let these people doubting you stop your praise. Don't you let these people giving up on you stop your calling. Because let me tell you something. You have something to live for. You have something to live for. Greater is he that is in you than he that is of this world. You are more than a conqueror. No matter what people said about you. No matter how many people overlooked your gift, let me tell you something. You are gifted. You are talented. You are beautifully and wonderfully made in the likeness and image of God. And they better watch out because guess what? God about to show you off. And this is, this is how he about to show you off. Not only he about to show you off by you receiving your reward, but he about to show you off so where you can perform your gift for him. There's a lot of people that overlooked your gift, but guess what? When you away, when you gone, they looking for you at the same time because they knew that you were the anointed one. They knew that you were the appointed one. Sometimes people be overlooking you because guess what? They be in their stubborn ways. They be jealous of you. They be having devilish spirits on them. They be operating in demo and with, with demonic forces. It ain't nothing but the trick of the enemy that be working inside of these people. And this is why people be overlooking you, baby. Because guess what? You be shining bright like a diamond, man. You glowing. Your essence is so powerful. So guess what? People are going to pretend like you don't exist. But the minute you turn your back, they looking at you. They staring you down. The minute you walk into their presence, guess what? They want to make it seem like they hunch, hunching their shoulders and pretend like you don't even exist. But let me tell you something. I know a God that's going to show you off at the right appropriate time. I know a God that's going to bring you out in front of these haters. I know a God that's going to bring you out unexpectedly and people's jaws going to be dropping. They're not going to believe where God brought you from. And if they don't know, now they know. And they didn't want to pretend like they don't know. Guess what? Go ahead and pretend. Because I know you see me. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, go ahead and pretend like you don't see me. Because guys, in, in all actuality, I see you looking at me doing your perfume. Oh, you'd be surprised how many people will overlook you and pretend like they don't even see you. They pretend like you don't even exist. But I promise you, they're looking at you through your perfume. Do they perfume? You know how somebody look at you, do they perfume your vision? Your aura shining so bright, even if they overlooked you, guess what? <laughs> they still going to get a glimpse of that light through their peripheral. They see you glowing. They see you with the anointing. They see you blessed coming in, blessed walking out. They see you. They see you that you belong to God. They feel you. They feel your anointing. But you ain't got nothing to worry about, children, because God getting ready to show you off. God getting ready to show these people that this is the person that you doubted. This is the person that you gave up on. This is the person that you rejected. I'm going to tell you, God is getting ready to tell your enemies, thank you. Because guess what? God came up on you, chosen ones. What I'm going to tell you, they slept on something that was so special. You were sent in people's lives to be a blessing to people and they ruined it. You were sent to be a blessing to some people in their life and they overlooked you. You were sent to heal some people and guess what? They doubted your healing power. They doubted your spiritual gifts. Now they're going to be in awe and regret. Now they're going to be looking stupid and feeling foolish. When I'm going to tell you, they're going to be looking like boo boo the fool. Prepare your eyes to see the look on their faces. Prepare your eyes to see them looking like a lone lost Yorkie. Because I'm telling you right now, the blessings of the Lord is, is, is going to prevail against your life. The blessings of the Lord is getting ready to be activated over your life. Your aura is going to be so activated, it's going to blind the whole room. 
And this is a punishment. They got to watch you win for the rest of your life. They got to watch you get the victory for the rest of your life. They got to watch you get to this paper for the rest of your life, chosen ones. So let me tell you something. Don't worry about people that doubt you. Don't worry about people that's hating on you. Don't worry about people that's talking about you. It shouldn't it discourage you. Don't be discouraged by these people giving up on you. I need you to hold your head up and be encouraged in the Lord. Because it should fuel you to go harder. After God show you off, don't get complacent. Don't get lackadaisical. Don't get comfortable with the enemy. You keep on pushing. You keep on praying. You keep on elevating, baby, because God's plans will prevail against your life. And that's what uh, that's what Israel meant. God will prevail. God will prevail over your life. No matter what they said about you, no matter if they wanted to see you fail, you will prevail. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, yeah, I know you wanted to see me fail. But God's plans will prevail over my not life in the name of Jesus. Don't you be afraid to put it. So I'm going to tell you right now, chosen ones, keep going, keep pressing, keep shining, keep getting to this paper, keep hustling. Because let me tell you something, God got a plan for you, God got a vision for you, and he's getting ready to show you off like never before in the year 2024. We the chosen ones.